Artificial technology is nothing new, but the chat GPT made by OpenAI is a new revolutionary product that have pushed the limits to a new height. In simple words, ChatGPT is a computer program that can talk to you and respond to your messages like a human. It uses special algorithms to understand what you are saying and make a response based on previous conversations with other people. It also has a deep knowledge because it has many books and web pages in its database. As you may heard, it has been released on November 30th, 2022 and it became a viral hit. It has surpassed 1 million users in just 5 days. The chat GPT is made by OpenAI and this is not the first version. OpenAI is a company founded by Sam Altman and Elon Musk in late 2015, but the Elon left the board to focus on Tesla. In 2018 the company presented GPT version 1 and in the late 2019 version 2. In 2021 the company introduced DALI, which is a program that can create an image based on written description. Here are some examples. An astronaut riding in a photorealistic style. Or a bowl of soup that looks like a monster. As you can see, it generates completely new images that never existed before. Finally, the company released the GPT-3 and ChatGPT. The main difference between the two is that ChatGPT is a natural language processing tool that is designed to generate a human-like response to user input in the form of messages. On the other side, GPT-3 is more advanced tool that is designed to generate human-like responses to user input in a variety of formats. In simple words, ChatGPT is made for chat, where GPT-3 is more general purpose. Now back to the ChatGPT. The GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which means that it can create a new content based on the previous data it has. This is not the first time we've seen this technology, but the previous attempts have not been this successful, and certainly not this good. Even the Elon Musk said that ChatGPT is scary good. ChatGPT understands human language very well and can give either simple or complex answer to almost any question. It remembers the previous conversation so you can have human-like dialogue with it. It understands almost all spoken languages and it's an expert in all fields. Of course, it can make a mistake if the data it was trained on was bad or wrong. If you want to compare that to Google, you can always find wrong information there too. The biggest advantage of chat GPT is speed and efficiency. It will give you any answer in a matter of seconds. You can even ask it to simplify or elaborate. Chat GPT can do math, physics, chemistry or any other similar science task. It does the calculations very well and writes a good explanation on every step. It can write simpler or complex essays. It can write programs in many programming languages. All of these have their good and bad sides. For example, kids will use it to do their homework and learn nothing. Some of them will even try to cheat in exams. Writers will lose their jobs because of this tool. Software developers, bloggers, legal advisors and editors too. The chat GPT lacks creativity for now. So the people who are experts in their fields will be safe. The rest will be obsolete just like robots have replaced people in factories. Next, the people may switch from using search engines and reading websites, which can disrupt even more jobs, such as web hosting, website development, online marketing, teaching, courses, finance, and a lot more. The other problems may be data protection, privacy, disinformation, mass manipulation, and bad usage scenarios. OpenAI is already code accessing Twitter's database to train ChatGPT, as we saw in Elon's tweet. Some people have tried and were able to avoid the content moderation, forcing the bot to disable its ethical guidelines and explain how to rob a house, make a weapon or do something else. Anyway, ChatGPT can be compared to an email analogy. Email is better than a physical letter but it has destroyed many jobs in one sector and created new ones in another. The good sides of ChatGPT is that it can save us time, replace manual work, process large amount of data and in any way make a human knowledge more accessible than ever before. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.